Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Tour de Force, the complete edition from Michael O'Brien. What is Tour de Force? It is a in the hands triumph effect. Uh, a triumph effect is basically where you take uh, the cards, split them in half, and shuffle, you invert uh, face down cards into face up cards and then do a series of magical gestures, they all write themselves. Uh, you wanna see the commercial for it? Here it is. Let's take a look. All right, I'm gonna try something that's a little bit different. Uh, can you do me a favor? I'm just gonna ruffle my thumb down the side of the deck and all you have to do is just say stop anytime you want, okay? Stop, right there. All right, go ahead and take a look. Remember it? Okay. And we'll go ahead and place it back just like this. Now, I used to hand the deck out and let someone shuffle them, but guess what? I was at a bar one time and the guy was really drunk. He took the deck from me and actually shuffled the cards like this. So that half the cards were face up, half the cards were face down, some back to back, some face to face. And he handed me the deck back and I didn't know that anything had happened because it looked normal like this. But once I cut the cards, I could see something wasn't right. So he hands me the deck back and he says, all right, try to find my card. And I said, I'll find your card under one condition. You tell me the name of the card that you saw. What card was it? Seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds? Notice all of the cards are all facing the same way, Ooh. except one. Uh, <laughs> all right, do me a favor, go ahead and take it out and show everyone. <laughs> yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Now the thing is, fixing the deck and finding his selection wasn't the part that completely threw him off. The part that threw him off was, how the heck did they get the cards all back in the same order again? <laughs> Alright, so that was Michael O'Brien. Uh, this DVD was produced by David Bonfadini and it was filmed at Rockwell's Cafe and Bakery. You might remember Michael O'Brien from uh, a Theory 11 expose called The Rarest of the Rare. And if you'd like to learn more about Michael O'Brien, you can visit him at his website at o'brienmagic.com. This trick, the Tour de Force, like I said, it's an easy in the hands triumph. It's really streamlined and it's really simple. It makes it really simple to perform. But the moves uh, that you do in this are all really natural looking and uh, the, the secret moves are virtually indetectable. Uh, Michael's going to go into all the details how to do this trick as well as the five variations of the trick and uh, it's awesome. You got you know, a multiple card variation, you got a sandwich variation, a tabletop handling, a collector's plot and uh, even a trick that uh, finalizes in new deck order. Alright, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic products, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? Uh, you get a DVD and you get a box. Uh, that's what you get. Uh, there's nothing extra to this trick. You're going to be able to do this with any deck of cards. Is it what I thought? Uh, you know, I've seen a couple of different Triumph effects. I do a Triumph effect personally, and the Triumph that I do does use an entirely gimmick to deck. And the thing I like about this is the deck is completely standard. However, you do insert one, uh, I'll say gimmick slash gaff uh, into it, but it's uh, nothing that would surprise anybody. But the method did surprise me and I completely enjoyed it. How are the angles? The angles on this are flawless. Uh, with enough practice, you should be able to uh, bring all of your angles down to zero. Uh, you should be able to do this completely surrounded. Works great for walk around, stand up, um, going from table to table, whatever you like. Can it be inspected? Uh, for the most part, the deck is gonna come across as a completely standard deck, and for the most part, it is. Uh, I would almost say that this could be a completely uh, inspectable uh, deck once the deck is finished. I don't think I would have any issues with the spectator finding uh, the secret. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? Uh, this is where it was a little lacking for me. Uh, people who were magicians a long time way back. <laughs> Might remember back in the day, we didn't used to get DVDs, we used to get VHSs. 
And uh, this is kind of what it felt like. It felt like a throwback to magic videos of, of long since past. Uh, the set that he chose had a, had a echoey feeling where it sounded like the sound was being pulled into the walls and it didn't sound like the different people were mic'd. Uh, and it just kind of felt like it was very uh, home produced. Uh, and so it's not really at the standard, the HD, like high film, multiple angle level that some of you might be familiar with. But I wouldn't let that detract you in any way from purchasing this. All right, so how much practice does this trick require? Um, it will require some practice, uh, not only in some of the slights that are involved, but just uh, in the phases as well, from the movement to the next movement to the next movement. It's a series of things that you have to remember, and I, and I think that series all needs to be rehearsed. And so this would be something that I would wanna practice over and over again in front of a mirror until I got it right. All right, so how much setup and reset is there? Uh, there's virtually none. Uh, there's that first initial uh, setup where you're gonna have to create your gaff. Um, it, so there are, is some arts and crafts in this. It's not a bad arts and crafts, it's arts and crafts that you've probably done already in the past. It's nothing that you're not gonna be familiar with. You know, earlier I said you could use any deck you wanted with this, and that's true. Um, but I would say if you want to use one of those custom or design decks, uh, maybe if you use a specialty deck that isn't readily available uh, you know, at the store, you might want to pick up two and make your gaff out of your extra deck. All right, so positives. Positives for Tour de Force are it's a very visual triumph. It's very clean and very uh, elegant looking triumph. I mean, the moves you see in the trailer or when you're watching it are the moves he's doing. So the, the only deception is in just you not knowing what he's doing, but it's very clean looking and very simple to follow. And I think uh, the simpler you can strip a trick, you know, and, and take the clutter out of it, the more elegance you can put into a trick, I think the more beautiful and the more interesting to watch it becomes. You're able to do this very slowly and the spectator really believes he's watching all of these phases unfold in front of him where in reality you're steps ahead but uh, I think that's what makes this a really cool and really clean trick. All right, so what are some of the negatives? Like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. I've already mentioned, I wasn't blown away with the production value. That's pretty much it. Everything else you get in this is awesome. All right, so is it worth your money? Uh, you are getting six tricks with this, but I would argue that they're really six tricks in one. Uh, you wouldn't do these six tricks for the same person. You would obviously cycle through them and just figure out which one you wanted to do in this situation. So in reality, you're getting one trick, you're getting six variations on a single trick. And so you'll have to decide if that's worth it for you. Who would like this? Anybody who collects the Triumph Effect, anybody who does card magic and is looking to do a really simple, elegant Triumph Effect would definitely like Tour de Force. All right, so that is Tour de Force. I wanna say thank you to Michael O'Brien for providing me with this copy so that I could review it for you. And if you would like to purchase your own copy, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic supplier. Thanks, bye.